Hey guys, this is Tim again from Modern Tech Reviews, and I'm here to do my first actual review. I'm going to be reviewing this speaker. This is the M Audio BX5 Studio Monitor Speaker. This is what I have running my sound system on my computer right now, which you may have seen from the last video. I gave a brief overview of everything. And this is the speaker. There's a pair of them, of course. But I wanted to specifically talk about M Audio and how it is that I came to pick that particular brand and model. So I figure we can just get right into it. And the first thing that I'm gonna go over is the specs on these guys. These things are pretty awesome for what they have. Each of these speakers comes with a five inch Kevlar curved cone woofer and a one inch silk dome tweeter. They've got a frequency response of 56 Hertz to 22 kilohertz. Now you'll notice on the back side here that you've got two inputs. One is a standard quarter inch TRS and the other is an XLR input. Then you've got a volume knob and this is on each speaker which is actually really nice. And then you have an acoustic space setting which is either flat, minus two decibels or minus four decibels. Then you've obviously got a power switch, your place to plug in your power and then your voltage selector. These things are just about 10 inches tall, eight inches deep and about seven inches wide, so they don't take up a whole lot of space on your desk. They do weigh about 11 pounds each, which I personally find to be a very nice weight. It feels like a solid piece of equipment. It doesn't feel cheap. It's got some weight to it, and it's not gonna accidentally fall off your desk. It would take some considerable force. These things are listed as having a low filter amplifier power of 40 watts and a high filter amplifier power of 30 watts, which gives you a total of 70 watts. And believe me, they are plenty loud enough. I typically don't run them at max power. It would just be too much, especially considering how close people tend to sit to studio monitors like this. I'd like to talk about how I arrived at buying these particular speakers because I did do a lot of research to arrive at this particular model. And I also wanna just add here that I'm extremely happy with these. I went through a few different speakers. I even had a couple here that I tried out and these were the ones that I ended up with because they had the best, cleanest sound for my liking. Now obviously, everybody's gonna have a slightly different taste for what they wanna hear, but I will tell you that what I was going for was the flattest possible sound. Some people like to have their music enhanced and modified and changed. I prefer a flat sound. By saying flat, that doesn't mean that the sound is boring sounding. You know, I used to associate the term flat to mean that it didn't sound good, it didn't sound right. But actually, in, when you're talking about studio monitors and you're getting into the sound world, what a flat signal means is that there's no equalization done at all. In other words, the original sound source, how this music was created that you're playing with this speaker, is unaltered. You're getting the original reproduced in your ears or as close to it as possible. That's what I was looking for and that's why I wanted the studio monitors. I went through a few different brands and models. I wanted to test out a few and make sure that I had exactly what I was looking for. No, this wasn't a huge, huge investment money-wise, but it was enough that I wanted to make sure I was getting exactly what I really was hoping for. The old speakers that I had were just regular desktop computer speakers, but I just wanted to upgrade my sound and get to something that was over the edge different from what I had before. And I have to say, I absolutely love these monitors. I actually went to Vegas this year for the CES show and while I was there I went to a guitar center and actually tested these out. I got to plug in my phone and just listen to them right there along with a set of Yamaha HS5s and the JBL, I think they're the LSR 305s. I listened to those three back to back, I mean literally pushing the buttons and just flipping back and forth the same song trying to determine which ones I liked the best. And honestly, the Yamaha were a close second. But in the end, my brother and I both agreed that the M Audios just really stepped it up even above the Yamahas. I thought they sounded absolutely amazing. I loved them. So right then and there, I just went ahead and ordered them. So by the time I got home from the CES show, these were already here and waiting for me. All I had to do was hook them up. Well, that ended up being a little more challenging than I realized. When you get into studio monitor speakers, especially plugging them into a computer, 
And very possibly even with any professional setup, when you're using speakers like this, they have a tendency to pick up a hum, a noise that they make in the speakers. And sure enough, I had that exact problem. So I had to do a lot of research and I tried a ton of different filters and just different devices to fix my problem. And I finally did find uh, an adapter that I actually put on the plug, the power plug for each of my speakers that took away the hum completely. So I'm very happy with that. And I'll put a link to those in my description down below, what I did to fix it. And just so you know what that noise is called, it's called a ground loop hum. That's what I had going on. It, I'm not gonna go into how to fix that or what it's caused by. You can do some research on that if you want, or maybe I'll post another video about that one of these days. But suffice it to say, once I put the, the adapters onto the power plugs, the hum was completely gone and I was very happy with it. So obviously I'm gonna stick with that particular setup. So once I got these hooked up, I tested them out. I loved how they sounded, but I did realize that I really did miss the lows, the bass. On my old system with the 5.1 surround Logitech speakers that I had, of course I had the little subwoofer. It gave me just a hint of bass and I enjoyed it. It, it added to my music, to games, to anything I did on my computer that used sound. So I wanted to get a subwoofer for, the, for these. So I began my hunt for a subwoofer. Well, what I discovered is that the only size subwoofer that M-Audio makes is a 10 inch. I ordered it anyway. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna order it. it. It's the only one they have and I would rather have a matched set. So I ordered that, got that subwoofer in and realized that it was huge. <laughs> it's really big. So I wasn't very happy about that because I didn't want such a, a big subwoofer in my space here. You know, with my other video, you saw how I set up my new home office and I wanted to have underneath the desk just completely empty other than my computer but having a big 10 inch subwoofer down there seemed clunky and in the way. So I began a quest to find a different subwoofer. Now I actually went through several different subwoofers. I ordered a few, one at a time of course, and got them in and tried them out and I wanted to find the best one, the one that really matched my needs the most. And they each had pros and cons. Uh, of course, that's always going to be the case, especially when you're reviewing different technology and how different components work together. And ultimately, in the end, I ended up going right back to the M-Audio 10-inch subwoofer that I had ordered from the beginning. Now, after having the M-Audio subwoofer hooked up for a couple months, I have to say I'm really glad that I ended up sticking with that one. Even though it's bigger than I wanted, it's not that big. I've got it tucked under my desk and I hardly even notice it. But the sound that it adds, the bass that it adds is just beautiful. It sounds so, so nice. And it comes with a little foot pedal to quickly and easily turn the subwoofer off. So sometimes I'm here late at night and I wanna to listen to music, but I don't wanna shake the whole house up with bass. So I'll just turn it off. It's really easy. And so I love how that sounds. So in summary, I have to say that the M-Audio BX5 studio monitors are amazing. I absolutely love these speakers. Uh, through all the research I did, and granted, I didn't check out you know, 10s or 20s of different speaker models, but I did do a lot of research. I spent you know, several weeks, I listened to quite a few models, as I mentioned in this video. But I ended up with these, and I am extremely happy with their sound quality. I would, could even see myself hooking these up to a television and watching movies through them. I mean, they're, they're quite loud. They sound really clear and just sharp and precise. And they have that flat sound that I wanted. I wanted no alteration. So I'll include links to these down below so you can check them out for yourselves. The last time I checked the pricing, they were about $150 a piece. Of course, you need two of them, so that's 300 bucks, not including the subwoofer. I think they're, they're well worth it. I'm very glad that I spent the money on these. It, to me, it wasn't a tremendous amount of money to spend in order to get the sound that I really wanted. Now, I'll also include a couple of links to the cables that I ended up using for these because there's a lot of different options for cables. I've got right now my computer sound system, well, the sound card on my computer outputs to my DAC, which is a Creative Labs. I covered that in the other video. That then has an analog output that goes into 
RCA inputs on the back of my subwoofer. And from there, I've got two speaker wires that go out to the two right and left monitor speakers. It's relatively simple, but I did go through a few different wires, partially because I didn't know the length that I needed, and partially because I was trying different configurations as I was getting different subwoofers to test out and different monitor speakers. But in the end, I've got ones that I'm really happy with. I went with right angles on the back of the speakers. That way, they, you know, they're not sticking straight out of the back. They can kind of go straight down. It just gives it a little cleaner look for me because I'm trying to keep my wires tidy. But those are just little minor things. The real important thing is how do these things sound? And they sound amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Modern Tech Reviews. This is officially my second vlog that I've posted. This is, of course, I reviewed the M-Audio BX5 Studio Monitors. I didn't review the subwoofer. I might do that in a separate review, but it is the match to this pair, so you can take a look at that if you want, and I'll include the link to that as well, just so you have an idea of what that costs. But stay tuned for more videos from Modern Tech Reviews, and please, if you could, if you like this video, give it a like down below, and feel free to leave comments, and I will respond to them. I'll see you in my next video.